hello individual welcome to a new video of style and punch in this video you will get to know about the fighting style background the training and the fight scenes of Geralt of Rivia from the Netflix TV series The Witcher the swords those who know Geralt from the Witcher video game series are aware of the fact that Geralt is a highly skilled swordsman. In the video game series, Geralt carries two swords with himself. One is forged of steel and the other one is coated in silver. In the original novels written by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski, Geralt only carries a single steel sword with him. However, he does own another sword that is coated in silver, which he usually keeps sheeted at the side of his loyal horse, Roch. The steel sword is used during the confrontations with human enemies, while the silver sword is used for the killing of supernatural creatures. The Fighting Style Background Geralt uses three different styles of sword fighting in the video game series. The first one is called the Strong Style. This style works best against the heavily armored opponent. The Strong Style does the most damage in just a single hit to an opponent. The second one is named the Fast Style. This style favors speed and agility. It doesn't afford the time to strike to the opponent. This style is used when Geralt faces the agile opponents like ghosts and vampires. And the third one is called the group style. This style is developed as a method for taking several opponents down through complex slashing techniques. The circular move of this style makes sure that every single one of the surrounding opponents gets hit. The training. Henry Cavill has plenty of experience when it comes to pushing his body to the limits for a role. To get more ripped than ever, for The Witcher, Cavill joined forces with Dave Rienzi, who is also the strength and conditioning coach of Dwayne Johnson. Rienzi suggested that Cavill should try something called the fasted cardio if he wanted to get into the next level shape for the Netflix TV series. To get Cavill where he needed to be a coach, Dave Rienzi introduced some new exercises to his workouts. According to Rienzi, the key foundation movement of their sessions was the Romanian deadlift which strengthens the glutes, the hamstrings and the whole posterior chain. Cavill did regular hyperextensions to reinforce his posterior chain and strengthen his lower back while training for the Witcher. Cavill's coach had him doing a tweak version of the oblique static hold, extending his arms towards and holding for 30 seconds before going into extensions. If I'm using a real weighted sword, it's very heavy and requires lots of endurance to do the moves safely and perfectly each time. Cavill said in his men's health workout guide, and it also allows for nice explosive movement which is very typical for the Witcher. Henry Cavill's training for the role also consisted of extensive sword training. He said, I spent all of my free time and when I wasn't on set with a sword in my hand. It was getting used to the weight of the sword, using it day in and day out. I had three swords where I lived and four at work and it was just non-stop practice, practice, practice. He built up his shoulder muscles to allow for more muscular strength and control while handling a heavy sword. He bulked up his biceps and forearms to help with endurance during the sword fighting scenes as well as the horse riding scenes. He also developed his abs and obliques to allow for the explosive movement. The fight scenes. The fight scenes are fast-paced, dynamic, and Henry Cavill has proven in Man of Steel, Immortals, Justice League, etc. that he has a lot of physicality and can handle fight choreography. They have designed a style for Geralt. Powerful slashes, usually made after he parries, straight thrusts, and then quick transitions to reverse grip, often holding the sword by the fort, the base of the blade with his hand wrapped around the guard. From here, he uses thrusts and enclosed slashes. Geralt in the show is armed with a fairly short longsword, a fantasy equivalent to a form of the sword that might have existed around 1400 AD. 
टू हैंडेड हेल्थ ऑन अ ब्लेड नो लॉन्गर और नॉट मच लॉन्गर देन अ वन हैंडेड सॉर्ड creating a weapon that is suited to use in one or two hands which means you can also use it on horseback or if you must with a shield now let's talk about the effectiveness of the reverse sword grip the two fight scenes in particular caught the attention of fans and both happened in the very first episode one sees geralt go up against renfri's soldiers in the streets while the second fights the witcher against renfri herself as played by Emma Appleton in both you can see Cavill using a river grip that is holding his hands with his thumbs pointing away from the blade Geralt periodically uses the sword in a river grip to slash rather than thrust a technique that would be largely useless against the fairly heavy clothing of medieval eastern europe medieval swords are sharp but not razor sharp nor does holding the blade in such a fashion really use the leverage of a long blade properly to cut the historical river grip was used primarily as a transition to a strong parry or a thrust not necessarily for stabbing someone in the mouth and cutting their head in half down the use of a sword in river grip takes the cool factor one step further making for an exotic display of slicing in a figure of eight with a swimming motion of the arm and wrist it can also be combined with spinning or dual wielding a character with two swords can hold either one or both of them in river grip maybe this is supposed to be the secret technique unknown to all those chumps who swing their sword the usual way in reality this is cool but inefficient biomechanical limitations as well as the different nature of how swords are used in fighting cause the reverse sword gripper to lose reach cutting power ability to parry or exert leverage in the bend and ability to protect the sword hand admittedly there are useful historical techniques that involve reverse one grip on the sword but these are more situational and limited in application than what you tend to see in movies so what can you take away from keralt if you want to learn sword fighting there are so many sword fighting styles you can choose from you have got kendo kenjutsu lido from japan kung fu from china kalari fight and ske from india fencing and long sword fighting from europe and many more styles choose any style you want to learn and one more thing if you will look closely at the basic element of all these styles you can see that the grip they use to hold their swords is the standard grip and not the river grip because the river grip has so limited use and it's just not efficient enough to be used like the standard grip and that's it hope you have learned something new from this video see you next time and take care